Hey guys, today I have a book haul to share with you. So I have 10 books that I gotta get through, so let's get going. The first book I have here is The Lion Game by Ruth Ware, and I was actually contacted by the publisher to read and review this book, so thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And uh, I have previously read Ruth, Ruth Ware's uh, The Girl in Cabin 10. I love that book, so I'm hoping I love this book just as much. And yeah, this is about uh, these women who come back together to figure out some sort of mystery because back when they were in boarding school together apparently they did something. Something that we don't quite know yet because the synopsis isn't telling us just yet what the mystery is. Uh, but yeah that's kind of that's kind of all the summary is. It doesn't really give much away at all so I'm, I'm very very intrigued what the what the greater mystery is. Next I have Earthly Joys by Philippa Gregory and this is book one in a duology. I'm not entirely sure what this duology is about, but it sounds like it follows this family called the Trade Scants, and they're very skillful gardeners, I guess, in the royal court uh, in 17th century England, it sounds like. And uh, yeah, it seems like uh, they're, it, it's under the reign of King James I, it looks like. And yes, it looks like the gunpowder plot is going to be pretty heavily involved in here, which is pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, th this duology, uh, I don't have the second one yet. I've been looking for the second one, so hopefully I get the second one sometime soon. But I've, I've definitely been eager to read this duology from Philippa Gregory. It sounds really good. Next, I have Poor Unfortunate Soul by Serena Valentino. And this is a Disney book, obviously, focusing on Ursula. <laughs> and yeah, I own several of these books because I have, I'm looking over here, I have the one about the Beast and I have the one about uh, the Evil Queen. And there is one for Maleficent coming out soon. And yeah, this Ursula book is one of the, the latest in this series. And yeah, they're just really tiny books focusing on the villains, I suppose. And I love the outside of the books because, yeah, you have Ursula here on the front of the cover and then you open it and, yeah, here's Vanessa underneath <laughs> uh, when Ursula takes human form. Next, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And it's about damn time I found a copy of this book, you guys. Uh, the, the Picture of Dorian Gray is just one of those classics that... It's like I sort of know what it's about, but not really. I only kind of know about it through pop culture. And yeah, I loved Dorian Gray on the TV series Penny Dreadful, you guys. So yeah, uh, Penny Dreadful has kind of finally pushed me to pick this book up. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure what the hell Dorian Gray is about. I mean, I know the whole thing about the picture, you know, that he is immortal and he stays young because of his picture. But other than that, I don't know anything else. You know, I don't I don't know any other characters. I don't know the plot. I just know the basics about the portrait. <laughs> Next, The Shining by Stephen King. I finally got some Stephen King, you guys, and I'm pretty damn excited about that. And yeah, uh, for years now, when I've been thinking to myself, I need to pick up some Stephen King, the first book that has always come to mind is The Shining. I figured The Shining is the best place for me personally to start because I have seen the classic movie and then also several years ago they came out with a miniseries adaptation of this book which I also watched and enjoyed. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to finally own The Shining, you guys. Jeez, I cannot wait to get to it. Do I need to do a plot summary? for The Shining, because uh, my basic understanding, what I can remember of The Shining, it, it follows this family, they go to this lodge, I think, because the dad, he needs some, he has like writer's block or something, and he needs space to write and finish up his novel, something like that, and yeah, a big snowstorm, and there's some freaky, freaky shit that happens at the hotel, so yeah, that's, I think that's kind of the basic summary and I hope I got that right. I'm, from what I can remember of the movie, I'm assuming it's the same for the book. <laughs> Next, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch and I actually won this for free from Goodreads so thank you very much Goodreads. And I think this is some sort of sci-fi thriller uh, is my understanding and just kind of read you this the summary really quickly. Are you happy with your life? 
Those are the last words Jason Dessen hears before the kidnapper knocks him unconscious, before he awakens to find himself strapped to a gurney, surrounded by strangers in hazmat suits, before a man he's never met smiles down at him and says, Welcome back, my friend. In this world he's woken up to, Jason's life is not the one he knows, his wife is not his wife, his son was never born, and Jason is not an ordinary college professor, but a celebrated genius who has achieved something remarkable, something impossible. Is it this life or the other that's the dream? And even if the home he remembers is real, how will Jason make it back to the family he loves? So, ooh! This is really vague and mysterious. What does this mean? Oh my god, I, I'm really excited to get to this, you guys. This sounds like something I will really, really enjoy. Because it sounds like there's maybe the possibility of alternate realities, maybe? Next, I have books two and three in a series. And this first one is A Dangerous Deceptions. And this is Assassin's Mask, and they're both by Sarah Zettel, and they're part of the Palace of Spies series. And I read the first book in this series a very, very long time ago. It's been several years, and yeah, I've, I've never been able to find copies of the next books in the series until now. I went to a used bookstore a couple weeks ago, and I found these, and I was like, oh, I need to get these. So yeah, I guess I can finally conclude this series. I, I think these are the final two books. I'm not sure if there's maybe a fourth book in the series or not. But yeah, these are uh, young adult historical fiction. They take place in England during the, the 1700s. Next, I have That Summer by Lauren Willig, and I have previously read uh, the entirety of Lauren Willig's Pink Carnation series. I love and adore that series, so I also found this at a used bookstore, decided to pick it up and give it a shot, see if I like it. And yeah, this has a dual narrative. It looks like some of the story takes place in 2009, and then some of the story takes place in uh, 1849. And yeah, just to read the little basic summary that they have written down here, it says, From modern-day England to the early days of the pre-Raphaelite movement, that summer takes readers on a riveting journey through a mysterious old house, a hidden love affair, and one woman's search for the truth about her past and herself. So that sounds really, really exciting. And the last book that I have here is Edge of Eternity by Ken Follett, and this is actually book three in this series called The Century Trilogy. And I do own the first book in this series, and like I said, this is the third. I do not own the second one yet. I'm still looking for the second book in hardback, because I would like to get all these in hardback. <laughs> so, yeah, once I do find the second book, I, I do plan on just kind of binging this entire series. And, yeah, my understanding of what this trilogy is about, it starts off... Like, like, because like the title says, it's it's part of the Century Trilogy. I think it's about the entirety of the 1900s, I want to say. So yes, yeah, starting at the, at the start of the century, going through both World Wars, going through the Vietnam War, going through the Cold War, you know. So yeah, that sounds really thrilling, I think. I'm very excited. And yeah, they're humongous books. Look how huge they are. So that's it for this book haul. You guys, have you guys read any of these books? Do you want to read any of them? And yeah, which of these books should I get around to sooner rather than later? So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye, guys.